Also, the more you know relates to App State. Last night they played Georgia State. They were down 14 nothing. They come back in that game uh, and they just blow Georgia State out of the water. But I did feel, Julio, that it was an appropriate time to revisit the best program in the state conversation we were having a month ago. Remember, I know it feels like it was longer ago, but it literally was a month ago where App State had one of the greatest Septembers of all Septembers in college football. If you if you don't remember, a quick reminder. They take North Carolina to the brink. They scored, what, 40-some-odd points in the fourth quarter. If, uh, if Chase Bryce just takes a little air out of that ball on a two-point conversion, they win that game. But obviously it did not happen, and they lose. But then they bounce back, and they beat Texas A&M on the road. Huge. So huge that game day goes to Boone the following week where they're hosting Troy. And it looked like it was going to be the letdown of all letdowns losing to Troy. But no, 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 no. They ended up coming back and winning on an insane Hail Mary play. And yet another round of people jumping into uh, the duck pond and everything else. I feel like from that point on, we've just kind of forgotten about App State. So last night they're on ESPN2. Shout out to our former colleague, Marilyn Payne, for being the sideline reporter on that one. And... They're down 14 nothing, and Dan Wolken of USA Today, their national columnist, had just kind of tweeted out something that I know we've talked about here locally, but when he when he tweets it out, it goes on a national perspective. And he said, like, look, if you've if you've completely forgotten about App State, you know, as he says, all anyone will remember about this App State season is the first few weeks, but it's been super weird since then. And I retweeted it and it kind of got in. App State people started getting in their feelings about it. But he's not wrong. I'm not wrong. In the grand scheme of things, when it comes to the season, what happened in September for App State is all you're going to remember. They can lose every game going forward. When you go, oh, yeah, remember App State? Man, what a September, right? Now, about the best program in the state thing, because that was the big conversation point a month ago after they had done what they did. Do we want to revisit that, or was that a program win last night for the Mountaineers in coming back? All right, in fairness to us, we had a conversation about who would you rather be a fan of, mm-hmm. which program, mm-hmm. right? Yes. App State, on an annual basis, wins about 10 games a year. App State, three out of four years, wins their conference. Yep. App State now, now that they have another one, every seven years... Mm-hmm. Beats a top five team on the road. I think you and I agreed that we'd rather be App State fans. 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 Yes. Absolutely. That, that's a different conversation it is. than what is the best program. Mm-hmm. And I think if you want to pick a window of what is the actual best program, five years, 10 years, this year, 25 years, 50 years, 100 years, I mean, you're getting into like the worst colored suit at a 1974 key party mm-hmm. at a certain point. <laughs> When you talk about the best program in this state over the last 100 years, yeah, they're all 500 programs, mm-hmm. if not worse. Because that's kind of where like Wake Forest is over here screaming and yelling, we're the best program in the state. Historically, you're the worst program in the ACC mm-hmm. by win percentage. So are we really going to sit here and say you're the best program in the state? I'm, you are maybe this year, maybe last year. By the way, last year you didn't beat Carolina, just so you know. No. So maybe this year, maybe you beat Carolina this year. Maybe the best. Maybe, part. maybe take care of like that one thing. Like Dave Lawson is my guy. He is your guy. He is my guy. You ride for him. He's. But, you say he's the best coach in the ACC. He is, no doubt. There's okay. no doubt about that. Who the heck's going to argue with me about no, that? I don't. I don't disagree with you. On I mean, that. Dabo, his kids, they're all on the football team. They could all argue with me. But <laughs> Fair I mean, enough. the thing about the the conversation about best program in the state is that it's nebulous. There is no wrong answer. There is no wrong well, answer. Well, there's certainly a wrong answer. Well, I mean, like, obviously, Duke can't. <laughs> you can, ha- you Duke can make can't your own arguments. Say, hey, 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 hey. You know, we. You we, can make your own arguments, but yeah, there are wrong answers. I mean, I guess there are. I guess, I guess nobody's riding for, I don't know, Western Carolina, I guess. My point is ECU. You could say ECU. Uh, you don't I mean, want to. You don't want to irritate the pirates. Well, not because they invented everything. Well, the, the the one thing you can say about ECU football is that any tradition that's ever existed in football, they did it first. Clearly, they are the ones who were. They actually, they were the first ones to ever put a logo on the field. They were the. I think they were the first forward pass, forward pass, and everything else. Right, tear down goalposts. I think at I th- the other teams field. They were. I think they were. They also actually, the, might have. That they might. They, they actually have a claim to that one. <laughs> I believe they're also the first ones to ever have a chant after somebody has a first down. 
Okay. You know, I think they're the first ones to do that, Move too. the chains, move the chains? Well, no, that's the wolf pack. Oh, okay. You know, when the pirates have a first down, it's another first down. Pirates! Arg. So, the thing about the best program in the state conversation, if we're, if we're condensing it to the three local schools and Wake Forest and then ECU and App, every single one of them can make some sort of argument. And I know what the argument is against App State. That's cool that you do this in your league, but you understand if you were to elevate into the ACC, you would run into the same issues that NC State and Carolina have. And ECU, here's what's funny about the Pirates. Of the schools that we've mentioned, I actually feel somewhat more sympathetic to the Pirates because they keep finding themselves the odd man out of every conference realignment. (laughs) Like, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing out of a gallows humor because... You know, if ECU was given access and opportunity, maybe they wouldn't have kind of, you know, wandered through the desert like they have been for a long time. You know, App State, through careful planning and consideration and success, has worked their way into the Sun Belt and has built this program and are doing a good job. But ECU always found themselves like as the odd man out in a crowded part of the state. So every single one of these conversations is beauty in the eye of the beholder. But I stand by what I said when it comes to App State. And this is not taking last night's results where they won or the fact that they're 4-3 and three after they had an insane September. When I say that App State's September is the only thing that you're going to remember about the football season, I mean it in a positive way. I don't mean it in a derogatory way. I mean it in like, y'all had one of the greatest three-week stretches that I can think of in quite some time. Ride for it. It was a hell of a lot of fun. You got game day to show up. And unless Carolina wins the ACC championship, yeah. wouldn't you still rather have apps September over the, anything else that happened to these teams? Absolutely. Even if Carolina wins the Coastal and yep. gets run by Clemson? Yep. Yeah. You absolutely take that. Correct. Because you had a hell of a lot more fun in September than any of the Triangle schools did in the grand scheme of things. So, actually, state fans are probably like, let's the less said about October, the better. I think, think that's where NC State fans September are right was now. a party either for the Wolfpacks. So. Eh, they, they, they got through. That's all that mattered.